well, welcome back to my channel, Mispronounced Adventures. My name's Alex, and welcome to Nordic Arctic Round 3. New personal record, minus 38. Particularly Finland, or even more particularly, the point where Finland, Norway, and Sweden all meet, or the three country Ken which I'm not going to be visiting this time, but I have visited in the previous Arctic seasons. We're here to the Three Country Cairn, the most peaceful border in the world. Last episode we had a whistle stop tour of Lofoten, and I left you off with it leading about a seven hour drive to get to here. I've just set the GPS to where I want to get to tonight. The GPS says that's a seven hour, 50 minute drive from here. Long drive to do today. Nothing too much happened on that, on that drive. I poorly documented some moose. Moose. I slipped down a hill. <laughs> and we hit minus 27. Joe is currently experiencing minus 20. Today's plan, I need to get back to Robin Yemi, which is about a six hour drive, so Joe can get dropped off the airport tomorrow morning. Let's get on with it. So last night, or well, yesterday, I drove from all the way from Orr at the bottom of the Lofoten Islands, Lofoten Islands, and um, now I'm here. And here is the point where Sweden, Finland, and Norway all meet. Well, actually, the three country can over there is somewhere in the snows. But today's job, I need to get to Roman Yemi, which is another six, seven hour drive. Joe's currently in the van, she needs to get dropped off the airport, and she's planned a few little different things to see today. So let's get the van started. It was minus 27 last night and go from there. We're on minus 24. Preheater is finished at 75 degrees, minus 13. There we go. Alright, heat on, wind scream, pants on. Wait for the oil temperature to come up and then we can head off. Turn left. In about two miles, turn left. Right, little plumber and a bit walk up to waterfalls, or presumably frozen waterfalls in the winter. And then a couple of hours driving in the van. Luckily, okay, because this is quite a popular tourist area, you presumably be seeing the waterfall. It's the uh, Sennebuil Trail is nice and compact to walk on. The rest of the stuff is super soft. I do love that you have things like this, this all over the Nordics, just to enjoy. Here is the tremendous waterfall Joe promised me. Right, waterfall done. Back to the van, hours of driving. Just walking back down, and I didn't write this. And I, I just didn't either, just for the record, I did not. Alex equals loser. <laughs> it's not very nice snow, is it? And they're pissed on it. <laughs> right, update on the finger from yesterday. Oopsies. Note to self, stop catching your drone. Meaty. Yummy. 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 <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Good thing I don't hate blood and cool things. Finish roads. It's 
minus 19 and I'm freezing. The light is simply stunning at the minute. Let's have a clear day. And it's a sort of light rainbows, I suppose. At the mid 25, the mid 20s is when the window and the glass starts freezing up on the inside. But the sun and light is pretty amazing at the minute. That is a very long straight road. Any British person in the UK would go, Romans built that. Obviously, they didn't hear this is this is the Nordics, but British people love their straight roads from the Romans. Such is the case with the Nordics in the winter, it's sometimes not easy to know what's open and what's not, so... Joe wanted to go see this art stuff in the forest, but um, yeah, two kilometres down that. Snowy Road would be where it is. Well, it's Julie's last morning. It is currently 20 to 10. Her flight's at, I think, 10 to 11. Drove through well, to about midnight, probably not long past midnight last night, to get to park up I like near Rum and Yemi. And uh, yeah, drive to the airport. Engine preheater has Almost finished, I can hear it slowing down. Let's have a look to see what temperature we're on. Minus 22 outside. Minus 75 degree coolant. There we go. I said the oil temperature come up and, well, make our way to the airport. It was cold when it's frozen on the inside of the windows and even the metal work on the inside starts to freeze over. Oops, I left the drone charging station. Here, it was a bit cold this morning. Right, time to drop the at the airport. Oh, I do absolutely love it up here. We absolutely love it. Well, that's Joe dropped off at the airport. Back to now a month of solo adventure. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Well, it's cold at the minute, it's minus 24, and I think this is the start of a little cold spell. So let's check out some of the maps and some of the apps I use and figure out where it's gonna be coldest and we'll head there. That and I've got a lot of editing to catch up on. Right, I'm currently driving back to Summit's Village as one of my subscribers is there and he's messaged me. Um, so for whilst I've got an hour or so free, I'll go pop in and see them. I've also run into the issue of I film everything on the channel on my phone, which is great, but the last week I've been doing a, a lot more filming of big video files, a lot of the driving shots. They're still 4K and they last for a couple of minutes, so they take up loads of data. And for some reason it wasn't uploading to iCloud so I filled up my phone so I've had a few shots in filming and then the phone goes no you can't do it got no space I think the subscriber I saw might have some internet and he might have Starlink so I might pop in and see him and if he's got unlimited data I'll see if I can borrow some high speed internet to just try and get my phone to upload the 668 unuploaded bits of um, media because I can't really go off and do stuff if I've got no data I've got data in the van but 
it's quite slow, so it takes a while. Well, there's his vehicle. That is a pretty cool looking bit of kit. Well, that's definitely a cool bit of kit. That's worked out quite well. Lovely guy. I'm going to go park up next to him uh, for a little bit and borrow some internet. And then when he gets when he finishes his, his remote work, actually have a catch up and meet him. As I said before on the channel, when I meet up with people I've not met before, I don't usually get a camera out. I don't like being that person who sticks a camera in someone's face. So here's a couple of hours after we met. Right, absolute pleasure hanging out with Andy. He's up, he's come up here again in this winter, and he's got a X RAF RAF. I did it twice. X RAF trauma ambulance. I've just realised I can't move because the vehicle's just locked itself. Right, well, it's been almost a month now, so since the trip is changing from having people out to back to myself, a bit of a recap. Left the UK, drove all the way up to about mid Sweden in about 48 hours, saw Asha Marie from Lost in Europe, and CJ Connor from Project Amber. <laughs> Scared on, got to Kimi. Kimi where I met True Blue Traveller, who I've been wanting to meet for a while in their cool sprinter conversion. <laughs> and then from there, Katie flew out, so I picked her up in Romanyemi. There she is. Went for a bit of a walk where we got frozen. We've made it back, time to Warm up a wee bit. <laughs> there we've got the coldest on the trip so far, and my coldest Percy, which is minus 38. New personal record, minus 38. So almost getting towards the minus 40 target. And got to meet up with our van Norman, who I've been chatting to for quite a few months before this trip. And then over to a national park, we went to the amethyst mine. And then Katie flew back. Then a few days later, my partner Joe flew out. Right, to the van and then figure out what we're doing for the evening. And with Joe, we had a bit of a plan from Finland over to Sweden, Jock Mark Winter Market, which I wanted to go see for a while. <laughs> Up to Kroona in some interesting conditions. Went to go see the Ice Hotel. Stole a shower. And they've got towels. Which we're thinking, are we, are we cheeky? We just go for a shower since we're in here. And made our way over to the photon. Then made our way over to the photon all the way down to Orr at the very bottom. An amazing whistle stop tour of Photon. And a lovely view. Discovered Joe has a thing for churches. And bridges. Bridge! Bridge. Who likes bridges? Don't know what the bridge is called. And all the way back to Roman Yemi, where I've just dropped Joe off. For the next month, don't really know yet. Going to be following the cold weather again and hopefully able to hit that minus 40 target. Might head a bit further north. Don't know if I'll go Nord Cap or not this year, but we'll wait and see. Right, on the move. Lovely hour or so chatting to Andy and in his very cool 6x6 RAF trauma ambulance converted to camper van. Oh, the blues. And I got back after I went, and we said goodbye, so then we went to came back, and there's a 24 hour. Russian pack left on my dash. Well, left on my uh, my wing mirror. So thank you, Andy. 
And that's pretty much going to be the end of the episode here. And a little bit shorter than I intended in the editing process, which is why this is a outro I filmed a little bit later on. But the next episode works so well as its own self-enclosed thing, so I decided I'd make this one a little bit shorter. If you have enjoyed this episode though, and the rest of the Arctic season round three, do consider subscribing to the channel, and even checking out season one and two. Otherwise, you can help support the channel is by looking at some of the links in the description below. One of them to Roma, which is a UK lithium battery company I work for. I do their electrical design consultations, but I also have an affiliate link for their batteries, which is what I use in this fan, the Extreme Series. I'm also a brand ambassador for Autotherm, their diesel heaters and water heaters, and a bunch of other links there as well. But really, I just want you guys to enjoy the content. So thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.